Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a one-point localization and microsurveys feel genius for Android. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I've created a project, and I've already created my bogus control point that I've made for the point of this video. And to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into my project data menu here. Within my project data menu, I'm going to select my top right option there, GNSS local transformation. And then to do a one point localization, I'm going to choose my calculate from point pairs option at the top here. And inside this menu, what I'm going to need to do is click in the bottom left corner to add a pair of points. And that is going to bring up my pair control points menu. And for my local control, what I'm going to do is select an existing point. So before the video began, as I said, I entered a point with some bogus coordinates that I want to force my localization onto. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit select existing and choose from the list that pops up there, point number one, which was the bogus point I uh, created. And if I wanna create a new point, what I can do is I can select that new option and then create a new point. And if you wanna learn more information about creating a new point, I'll just link to a video in the top right corner on how to do that. And for my GNSS control, and what I would do in the field is I would occupy whatever my control point is, whether that's an ACM or a pin in the ground with known coordinates, but I'm going to hit measure there next to GNSS control. And that's going to bring up my measurement menu here. It's gonna take an average of three points as that's what I have my tolerance set to. And you can see here that I've got a point with some uh, real world coordinates just outside of our office here. Uh, and I can add some information. And what I'm going to do to mark this as a control point is right below my feature slash code, I have a control point checkbox. So I'm gonna check that and click on save there in the bottom right corner. And you can see now that I have two paired control points, my local control one, which I created with some coordinates of a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, and my GNSS control of point number two, which I just measured with you now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit add pair and that's going to add it to my calculate transformation menu here. And you can see that I now have a point one ID with some Delta Northing, Easting and elevations and my latitude and longitude. So what has now happened is I've created this localization. My GNSS coordinates will now be shifted in the future. And if I want to apply these to any points that I've already measured previously in the job, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit apply in the bottom right corner. And if you wish to add more points to your local transformation or your localization, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit add pair and go through this uh, process that I just went through you with. Again, please note though, if you're going to be doing multiple points for your localization, you wanna be careful holding multiple points in the vertical as you can create an incline plane uh, that can give you some grief further down the road. So if you're gonna be using multiple ones, maybe consider turning off some of those points to avoid anything like that happening. And that is everything for today's video. That is how you perform a localization inside of microsurveys Feel Genius for Android. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench dashmark.ca.